First into the den, an entrepreneur from Edmonton, Alberta, who hopes his innovative line of footwear will have him walking away with a deal. But remember the rules of the den. If you don't get all the money you came for, you go home with nothing. I haven't seen coconuts like that since I was in Hawaii. <laughs> Hello, dragons. My name is Pierre Thompson. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. My company is called Coco's Shoes. Uh, what I make is uh, shoes from coconut fiber. I'm interested in $50,000 for 5% of my company. For 5%? Yeah. Wow. So you've got a million dollar shoe business. Yeah. All right. Can't it's, wait. Uh, it's a patented technology, and what my patent consists of is a sole made completely of coconut fiber with any binding agent, but preferably natural rubber. It's uh, This shoe here it has to be the most eco shoe ever made. It's saltwater resistant. They make a bulletproof vest from it, so it's very durable, but it has very low heat conductivity, so in the winter it can be a slipper, in the summer it... Uh, you don't get the sweat build up, but it actually exfoliates your dry, dead skin, so it makes your feet very beautiful. Can I see? Well, I have shoes for each of yeah, you. Yeah, sure, to bring them out. I'd love to see them. All right. Oh, oh, Pierre makes the flip flops in his home in Edmonton for about $20 a pair. Thank you. Thank you. He's found manufacturers in Thailand that can make the shoes for $2, but needs Dragon Investment to take that step. So you gotta try and get up and walk around. They do exfoliate. There you go. It's, a, it's kind of a massaging action. I like them. The shoes are sold at craft shows and spas, but the flip-flop idea was inspired during a rather unorthodox event. Where did you come up with this idea? In Nelson, a lot of people go to these Native American church ceremonies and eat peyote and whatever else. But not you. So, well, no, I went there and I did it, but I'm not a churchgoer. So I ended up not staying for the whole ceremony because I was bored. I kind of just wanted to go home. So I went home, but I was still kind of feeling okay. And I was looking at the coconut fiber, and the next thing I knew, I just cut two out and tied them to my feet with string and started walking around. and. I just and for that, you want a million idea. dollar valuation. What a great country. Yeah. Had the substances worn off when you came up with the one million dollar valuation? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> uh, Pierre, what are your sales actually? How many dollars have you brought in the door for selling this stuff? Uh, total, I'd say oh, 15, 20,000. Okay. 10 to 15, sorry. Have you ever run a business before? Yeah, I had my own painting business called Easy Rollers, so you can imagine what that was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you bring the models? Did they were, were they just from Thailand Beach? Because they look like you just come off the beach with a two. No, no, they're not even models. They've, ever since I came up with the idea, they've just been following me everywhere I go. I don't even know who they are. Pierre, what are you going to use the $50,000 for? What I really want is I want help marketing it, because I'm in Edmonton. There's not one corporate fashion headquarter for anything in Edmonton. No, I, I go along with that. It's like, you know, there's town shoes, there's Aldo, and... Uh, so are you going to stay in Edmonton? Is that what your game plan is? Oh, not at all. I hate Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Edmonton. <laughs> it's okay. There goes our Edmonton PR. we got PR. a lot of buyers in Edmonton. Let's go slow yeah, now. <laughs> so where are you going to live? Are you going to move into uh, Vancouver or Toronto or somewhere like that so that you can sell these things to the fashion people? Uh, I guess at your house. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want me to live? <laughs> I believe he is the right guy to make shoes out of coconuts. I love the story. Uh, it's great. Uh, the valuation is still a result of what happened to you when you drank, drank whatever you drank. It's still affecting you because you are so not worth a million dollars. Oh, no, I know that. But I had to say something. <laughs> what am I going to say? I want $200 for 50% because that's about all I have. But I do have a patent. Yeah, I got that. It's worth something. But I'm out. But I, uh, I've been heavily entertained. There you go. I think you're a great guy, and I think you'll do really well. Yeah. But I'm out. Pierre, this has been a fascinating presentation. In a good way? In a very good way. As an investor, I'm out. Yeah. Uh, I wish you all the best. I'll give you 50000 but I want 50%, not 5%. You're going to give him $50,000. I'm going to yes. give him $50,000. I like him, and I think they're going to sell. And he's funny. I like hanging around funny people. 50000 50%. I have to have Arlene, because she can market this thing for me. 
Well, I'm not for, for, for free. Why not? You're in the marketing business. You need the 50K. Oh, I can't give away 50%. Oh, see? The most I can uh, give away of this company, 30%. Oh, there you 30% for 50,000? Uh, yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said All the of a sudden, most when money's mentioned, he gets 30. really smart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not so funny anymore. <laughs> no, he's very serious now. Yeah. You should do it. No, I want more than that. There's, there's, because we have to get more people involved. Like, if I do fifty thousand for thirty percent, we've still got to get the marketing team involved and all those types of things. There's a lot to be done. I'll stick with my other offer, though. You don't want to do that? Fifty thousand for fifty percent? No, I'll lose control of the company. That may be best, really. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, 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 that could be a positive, interest. not a negative here. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm out there. You have been one of the most entertaining pitches we've ever had. Pierre, thanks very much. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very See much. <laughs> well, that was funny. I think he'll sell a bunch of these. So he will. Possibly. He will. He'll sell a ton of them. <laughs>